previously on Final Fantasy XIV. I'm going to be a conjurer and we're going to do a bit of training just to familiarise you guys with the conjurer. Oh, now we got a gobu. I love these little gobus. Oh, run. Ah, oh, run. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole. Just about to talk to Bainfield or something because we just finished the Sustasha dungeon. That was the last thing we did for the main story. Oh, looks like somebody is already talking to him. I wonder who that is. Aye, such a task was on the books. Was, mind. I'm afraid that ship has already sailed, friend. I wonder what they're talking about. Ah, might you be the adventurer who accepted the job of investigating Sustasha? Why, yes I am. Hmm. It would seem that ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbour, none the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. Ah, so they wanted to do the Sustasha dungeon. No matter, the wheel will turn and our chance will come. You are right, of course, but there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Not a wink of sleep, great leader. Perhaps they are adventurers as well then. Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism as will earn us a place in the songs of every ale house in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as yet unborn to follow our shining example. Sounds good. Do you have such a goal? Large or small, it matters not. Only have a star to reach for and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hardship. Keep your eye on the prize and all obstacles will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad, would you? Well, goals are as arms and armour for the spirit. I wish you fortune in your endeavours, milady. Wow, he was quite a nice adventurer, even though I stole his work. I stole his work from him. I went to Sustasha, and now he has nothing to do. <laughs> Back then, are ya? With all your limbs and a tale to tell, I'd wager. I'm going to tell him all about Sustasha, and the Sahagins, and the monster at the end. Fishbacks, and there I was thinking you'd only have to crack a pirate skull or three. Seven hells. You turn your back for five bloody minutes and the scaly bastards have set up shop on your bleeding doorstep. Still, sounds like you left them in pieces, so I don't suppose they'll be carrying out whatever mischief they was planning. Unless they was planning on feeding themselves to the fauna or Sustasha, of course. Any road, all's well as it ends well. On behalf of Limsa, I thank you for shedding some light on this mystery. You've lived up to your reputation and I couldn't ask for no more than that. Now... I bet you're dying for a rest, but just in case you're not, I was wondering if you would be interested in taking on another job. It also so happens I've had a request from our sister guild in Gridania, see? Seems like the forest folk are in need of adventurer what can get things done. For them to ask for help like this, you can bet the task won't be no skip through a sunny glade. But after the way you dealt with our fishback infestation, I doubt it's anything you can't handle. Give us a shout when you're ready and I'll lay it out for you. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready already. <laughs> Just give me the next quest. Party finder unlocked. Well, I guess we will just go straight ahead and talk to him again. Okay, so the next job that he has, I actually lost the footage for it, but it doesn't really matter. It wasn't really anything. It just blabbers on about what we have to do next. But basically the next thing that we need to do is go into a dungeon. We are gonna go into our second dungeon. Don't mind the funny music in the background whilst I'm doing this. I am stood at the Easter event. That's why there's this music. <laughs> anyway, before we start, I want to give a little rundown on my skills because I am playing as Conjurer, as you might have seen in the last video. We're going to play as Conjurer in an actual dungeon this time. So we have Stone, which deals Earth damage, 140 damage, and also casts Heavy on the target. We've obviously got our Cure, then we have Cleric Stance. Basically what this does is increases my damage, but decreases the amounts that I will heal. Then we have an AoE heal here, this one is an area of effect heal. Then we have Protect, which obviously protects my party. Then we have Raise, which is like Resurrection. We got an AoE water attack and we have an Earth attack there. It's just a second version of Stone, it's just a better version. Ezuna, Enusia, I don't know how you say that, but basically gets rid of status effects. We got Repose, which is basically sleep, and then we have the upgraded version of Cure, which is Cure 2. And that's about it really, so that's the rundown on Conjurer, so they do have quite a few attack spells as well. 
But anyway, today we are going to go to the Tam Tara Deepcroft, which is the second dungeon. I will quickly read out the lore before we start. Since its establishment during Gelmorian times, this subterranean crypt has been used for generations as a final resting place for the remains of rulers and nobles. Since the Calamity, however, the tunnels have become overrun with the Lambs of Dalamud, who worships the now fallen satellite as their saviour. It is in the Deepcroft that the these twisted souls silently plot revenge against those who fought to prevent the advent of Dalamud, summoning any dark presence who will aid them to this end, no matter what the cost. Oh, so there's going to be like loads of cult people in here. And if it's also a place where people were buried, like it said it was the final resting place, I expect there to be like loads of like skeletons and corpses and undead creatures in here. But let's go, let's go. I am excited. All right, here we go. Tam Tara Deepcraft. I love doing these dungeons. I don't know why they're really cool. I just love the Final Fantasy dungeons. They're just epic. I just love them. Anyway, we've got a big massive purple ball over there, which I have no idea what this is. I love how they do like a little preview of the dungeon before you start as well. So here we go. We're going to start. I'm going to start by casting Protect on my party members to help us out as we go through the dungeon. Most healers do that when they start anyway, so I'll just join in. So it looks like we got to destroy four cultist orbs. Right, okay, let's get started. Let's do it. Let's go. What have we got? What are these up here? The little dudes? I think these are just little warrior dudes. They got lances, so I guess they're lances. They are called Ak Inik Varlet. What kind of name is that? <laughs> looks pretty fun and it kind of looks like a cave we're in some kind of cave that looks kind of similar to Sastasha a little bit I think but I'm just helping attack at the moment and I'm also going to be healing a bit as well okay I wonder what that big purple thing is up there it's like linking to stuff oh I think that might be the barriers I did look at a guide before we started and I read that we have to kill monsters to collect rosaries and then we need to use those rosaries to get past the barriers and I think there's like monsters behind the barriers and bosses and stuff and we need to collect all the rosaries to get to the final boss or something like that so as you can see it says cultist orbs I think you destroy the orbs to get the rosaries I think that's how it works so at the moment we are killing flesh fly swarms that doesn't sound very nice I wonder if these flies actually eat flesh that is really quite disgusting <laughs> okay we've got some beetles up here and some more like lancer peoples so we've got three different types of monsters it's pretty cool there's quite a variety in monsters in here i'm just gonna heal and attack it's quite cool actually i'm not just doing one thing i have to constantly watch my party members health and also attack it's pretty fun it's uh, a bit more variety than just being a dps and just hitting all the dps buttons <laughs> i just like it a little bit more as you can see, we have a timer on the right hand side again, just like in the first dungeon, Sustasha, there was a timer on the right hand side, which gives us far too much time to actually complete the dungeon, because I, I have never ever got that down to zero, ever far. <laughs> I'm so curious as to what happens when it actually does. But hey, let's just go, let's go forward. Gonna run. I love how we got like a little sprint button, we can actually make our character run faster. That is a nice little mechanic that they've added in apart from it takes all your tp so if you use it before you get into combat you start combat with like zero tp <laughs> which is quite annoying but of course that's easily remedied just don't use sprint before battle <laughs> so this is actually a level 16 dungeon and i am level i don't know what level i am but i'm synced so i must be a couple of levels above the dungeon because when you're synced it means that you're too high level and it sinks your level downwards so like it's not ridiculously easy to go through the dungeons I think that's a really cool thing that, that they did that so it kind of like balances out all the dungeons and makes it like because if there was someone like really OP just one shotting everything it would be kind of boring for all the new players wouldn't it? That's what I think anyway so I'm really glad that there is a syncing feature I think that's really cool. Anyway I think we've got to something oh okay there's like a treasure coffer in here I don't think this is where you need to go this is like an optional little room but there is a treasure coffer in here which Treasure coffers don't really give that much, like they don't really give anything that good, they just normally just drop like a potion or a high potion or an eye drop or something along those lines, just like little 
potions and stuff that you can use when you're in trouble really. I think they already got the potions. Somebody got three potions. Nice. Oh, here we go. Here is a purple line. So we must be coming up to a boss. Always remember that when there's a purple line, there is going to be a boss. So we have got grave diggers and Dalamud priests. So we got a priest and two imps to kill. Oh, one imp now. One's already dead. But it looks kind of easy and this is the first of the um, orbs. We got a void soul counter now, something else just spawned. Oh, that must be the boss. That must be the proper boss, the void soul counter. The other things were just to deceive us. <laughs> okay, I need to make sure I heal the um, the tank whilst um, we're killing this little mini boss. He will be mini boss. What is it, like a demon? I think it's like a demon with like a scythe. Looks evil. It's from the void. Right, it's almost, almost there. There we go. We got it. The Greenwood Altar is no longer sealed. We got something dropped, which I don't need, so I'm going to pass. And I think that might have been... Yep, we got our very first Cultist Orb destroyed. Perhaps the rosaries come later then. Maybe we just have to destroy the orbs first. There is a lot of like little monsters in this dungeon. What are we fighting? Mightlings? What the hell are mightlings? And groundsmans? Mightlings are like, ew, they're like little spiders. They look awful. They look horrible. <laughs> it's nice that we are actually getting some dungeons unlocked now because we, for the longest time in my series, there was not a dungeon. So it took like 30 episodes before we finally reached a dungeon. So it's nice that we're starting to unlock them now and starting to do some because the dungeons are really, really fun. I can't wait till we get into the story a little bit more as well because we have seen the main enemies, I think, with Gaius. Gaius van Bausia, I think that's his name. God, that was quite good of, of me to remember his name. <laughs> but they are with the Empire, and I guess it's kind of like the government, and they're like corrupt and stuff, I don't know. Something along those lines. But I definitely can't wait to have a little showdown with those guys. That's going to be awesome. But it's probably going to be quite some time before we get there, most likely. Because I am right at the beginning of the story. And I have done the story once before. Because, like I said before, I have got another character. I have a Mikatet, who is level 50, and she is a summoner. So I have already done the entire first campaign already. But it was a very, very long time ago. And I really don't remember much from it. And I think that I did skip quite a lot of the dialogue, so I didn't really get like the whole picture when I played it the first time. So I'm really looking forward to actually going through it a second time, learning about it properly, and just kind of learning more about this game with you guys, because this game is really awesome. I really do enjoy it. I really like Neverwinter, but I think that this game is more my style compared to Neverwinter. I'm really into Final Fantasy but with Neverwinter I don't really know much about Dungeons and Dragons so maybe that's why this game kind of appeals to me a little bit more. I can just sit here for hours and hours and hours. I don't really do that with Neverwinter very much but I do like playing it. Got some more Mightlings. My god so many little monsters. I think that we are actually going through like every single room in this dungeon right now. <laughs> since uh, there's just a random treasure coffer over there so I'm guessing that's just gonna have some random loot. Anyhow I'm just gonna quickly kill these mobs and we'll grab the chest. Alright mobs are dead. Let's grab this chest. Eureka! A vial of ether or oh, ether. Ether or ether. Pronunciation is always a funny one. Okay a purple line again so we got some more imps. There's one more imp than last time. I think there was two on the very first little um, orb that we were on. So there's three now and the priest. So after we kill these I'm sure another void little demon thing will come out and we'll have to <laughs> defeat that. The ads are really easy it's just when the boss comes out he does actually do quite a bit of damage to the tank so I need to watch out for that. Okay, Dalamid Priest, here we go. He does really fast. He's like so squishy. Poor Priest, here we go. Void Soul Counter. So it's like the same boss over and over again at these little orbs. But never mind. It's quite nice to be a healer for a change. Gonna need to level some different classes, I think, because I want to try out all the different classes. They seem to be really fun. I really love the different mechanics and stuff that they all do. 
Right, he's almost there. We've almost got him. Go, go, go. Keep going. I wonder if they're going to add any more classes to this. I think there's like 13 classes already. Maybe even more. I don't know the exact number. But there is a lot of classes. Okay, we've got some loot. Is it good for me? No, it's for the monk. All right, we'll pass. So that's the second orb defeated. Ew, what are these? Yazan feeders. Ew, look how long their legs are. That's gross. They're like giant spiders. They're like dandy long legs. Oh, I hate those. <laughs> so horrible. I actually think some spiders are worse than dandy long legs, but dandy long legs are quite gross too. Anyhow, let's go. Let's go forward. See where are we going to end up this time? We've got some more flesh fly swarms just gonna finish these let's see if we can get somewhere all right i've skipped a tiny bit out of the fighting just because we're just fighting normal monsters there's not really much to see we have just walked over a purple line so we must be coming up to another boss so we've got like two more orbs to destroy still and we've got some mobs in front of us and a big purple thing over in front of us i don't know what that is i think that might be a barrier perhaps let's kill these anyway kill these finish these off these are just normal humans I think. Maybe these are the cultists because there's some cultists over here worshipping something. I don't know. I haven't actually seen any skeletons. I was kind of expecting some skeletons or some zombies or something seen as this is the final resting place of some people from the Calamity who have died. So I was kind of expecting that but I don't see any. Hmm. Really weird. I've seen like loads of bugs Yarzins, so little spiders and mitelings. So they're also spiders I think and flies that eat your flesh and all kinds of charming creatures <laughs> but i have not seen any um skeletons all right it looks like after we kill these guys we are going to get our cultist rosary and that will probably unlock the barrier that's behind us in the uh, other little room so oh i need to make sure i heal oh no tanks health's going down pretty fast the XP in here is pretty nice. I'm getting quite a lot of XP in here. Perhaps I will level by the time we finish this dungeon. That would be really nice if we could level. The MP is not too bad either. Like I'm not really running out of MP too much. I do have ethers and I've not really used any yet. Ethers obviously give back MP but I've not really needed to use any so that's good. We do have a bard in here though and bards can give other people man up but I don't think he's I don't think the bard is using any songs the bards use songs to give you mana back but that might be because the level of the bards synced down so I don't know if they'll be able to use any songs I'm not quite sure we got our cultist rosary so now we just need to run all the way back again and use the rosary on this little barrier thing over here yeah this thing here I'll let them do it there we go the sealed barrier is broken oh my god so many mobs Oh my god, there's like five or six or something. I uh, hope I'm going to be okay to heal this. And there's two cultist orbs right next to each other. I was wondering actually, I was like, we only have two and we're like already getting this cultist rosary. But it seems like both of the orbs are right next to each other. So does that mean we're going to fight two bosses at the same time? <gasps> oh god, I hope that's not the case. <laughs> I'm a new healer. I'm fresh to this. Don't be mean to me. Okay, there's a void soul counter. Okay, it's only one. Thank God. <laughs> I was getting a little bit worried. It's like, no, but it's okay. We're all good. It's just this normal little void soul counter. I wonder what's going to happen once we destroy these two little orbs. They, these are the last orbs, aren't they? Keep healing. I don't find this dungeon as pretty as the very first dungeon. Sustasha was way more prettier than this dungeon. It's still nice, but... This one seems more dank and dark and gross. I really love the designs of the dungeons though. They are awesome. Come on, come on, kill the void soul counter. It takes a little while. Almost got him now, almost got him. We can say bye bye void soul counter and orbs. All right, let's um, click on these little orbs. I'm gonna click on this one. There we go. We have a cutscene. Oh look, it's made a kind of bridge for us to go over. That's cool. Oh, there's a big shiny orb up there. What is that? Oh, who summons me from the void to reside within this crude vessel? Oh, he looks awesome. He looks really cool. He, he seems surprised. I am surprised. 
I can't read these dialogues fast enough, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, I'm just gonna pass on that. It's like, I don't know what he is. Is he a squid? <laughs> squid with a staff and a robe. <laughs> Galvanth the Dominator. Okay, when I was watching a guide for it, I read that adds will spawn, and he will also spawn an ad and become invulnerable until you kill the ad. There we go, there it is. Inconspicuous imp, so we have to kill the imp before we can carry on attacking the boss because he won't get damaged otherwise. There we go, he's dead. And, and other than that, I don't really think there's anything else we need to worry about. So I'm just gonna like concentrate on curing and attacking the boss. He looks really cool though, I must say. Oh, another little um, thing has appeared. What is it, another imp? Oh look, there's skeletons, skeleton soldiers. Ah, oh, we finally found some skeletons. <laughs> I actually really wanted there to be skeletons. I don't know why. <laughs> Yay! Skeletons for the win! Let's do this. He's half health, so we're doing pretty well. Oh my god. That is a big area of effect. He has got a massive area of effect. Oh my god, he's dying quite fast, actually. It's awesome. So close on the XP. I wonder if we're going to get my XP bar up. I think that little blue bar, the little blue bar after the yellow bit, I think that's like because I haven't logged in for a while so it gives you like double XP and stuff if you don't log in for a certain amount of time. I think that's what that is. Oh my god, so many ads here. But it's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Just gonna cast stone on it every now and then. Oh my god, the tank has really run dry on MP. I wonder what he's been using his MP on. I've never really been a tank, so I'm not really sure how tanks work. I've been too scared to be a tank. I want to, but it's just like, you really have to know what you're doing when you're a tank, because people just shout at you all the time, so I don't want to be a tank. I want to, but I don't. So there we go, he is now dead. That was really awesome. That was a really cool boss. That was much cooler than the very first boss that we did, the Sastasha one with the Sahagin, the fish boss. But that one was really cool. I really enjoyed that one. So let's see what drops. Not good for me. I'll pass. We're going to give a player recommendation to the tank. So that's it, guys. Good job, Miss Multi. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm a new healer. Maybe that's why they said that. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the second dungeon of Eorzea. I found it really fun and I hope you guys did too. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I see you next time.